The People's Democratic Party in Imo State has called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to cancel the Ngo Okpala House of Assembly by election that was held on Saturday, alleging massive rigging and intimidation by the All Progressive Congress, APC. Speaking during a press conference at the party headquarters in Oweri, the state capital, the state chairman of the PDP, Charles Ugu, accused Governor Hope Uzodima of mobilizing truckloads of security agencies to invade Ngo Okbala LGA and unleashed mayhem on the electorate. The PDP said in over 50 out of 193 polling units, electoral materials were forcefully carted with INEC ad hoc staff taken to Sentira Hotel along the Sam Mumbakwe Airport Road to thumbprint ballot papers and write results in favor of the APC. Therefore, call on INEC. First, number one, to outrightly cancel the Saturday, February 26, 2022, by election in Guabala, as any outcome from such barbaric invasion and warfare will only reflect the, mani the manipulations of Opus Odima and his band of electoral fraudsters and not the will of Ungobala people. Two, we call on INEC to order an immediate recount of all the materials and votes and reconcile them with the Beavers data. We further call on INEC to direct his HOD operations, Fidelis Uguru, to ensure the security and safety of all the materials and data deployed in the Ungobala by election to ensure a thorough recount as any story of loss of material or destruction um, of materials will, be, will prove beyond, sorry, prove ongoing suspicions of compromise by the commission. That is very funny if any PDP person or group of persons from PDP will make that kind of uh, statement. If you see the reflection of the results, you can see that the gap is not much. We, were lead, we led them with about 2,000 votes. They had, in that aggregate, it's just about 2,000 and a fraction. Such a keenly contested election, and with such results, we tell you that it wasn't business as usual. So this hue and cry of intimidation, violence, snatching of ballot buses and all the rest of them, it doesn't lead them to anywhere. For me, I describe it as a lullaby of somebody or people who have lost an election. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.